Hello everyone, Matt, Paul Offshore Fishing. I um, wanted to bring you a video on some of the regulation changes for the North Carolina uh, saltwater area. This is take two, just had some difficulty, did the whole video a minute ago, realized I did not turn, uh, some had mic off on one of my microphones, so I did the whole video, so that was good practice, so we'll get back into it maybe I can do as good I thought I did an awesome job but did not work too well if you had a chance or haven't had a chance go check out uh, I'm gonna put the link up here uh, of a video I just did on the uh, South Atlantic Fisheries um, Council meeting where they uh, recommend some of the different things uh, for the Southeast Atlantic area um, one of the things they were talking about was the red snapper season and uh, I'm also going to touch base on uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about in here some of the proclamations on the shark fishing because they talked about the depredation of sharks so we're going to cover that here in a, in a little, little bit on some of the shark species as far as the proclamations and the rule changes. Um, anyways getting back into it yes this is the 2020 changes for the North, North Carolina marine fisheries. Uh, this is basically from your inland waters to your three out three nautical miles and then the South Atlantic Marine um, commit, Committee takes out from three miles to 200 nautical miles offshore. So with that the um, the big, um, I'm also going to talk on some uh, proclamation changes that came out in late in 2019 because uh, there's a lot of people going to be fishing 2020 that these are going to affect. And I'm going to start on the first one is Cobia. Cobia were, uh, your fork length had to be 33 inches on your size, now it's 36. So if you fish Cobia, make that note. Uh, flounder season last year, the first time in North Carolina where they closed flounder season completely and uh and that was the rex and commercials uh i think they're going to have a longer commercial season but i'm just doing the rec stuff flounder season's going to be a month and a half long this year that's going to be from august 16th to september 30th and uh those both of those starting in at midnight so uh the size limit's 15 still 15 inches a day at four per person per day Unfortunately, that season takes place after the Flounder Jubilee, and uh, if you want to know what the Flounder Jubilee, you need to go find some old timers around uh, the Noose River area, and they'll tell tell you about all the stories about going down, walking on the shore, and picking them up with dip nets, and that's typically in the dog days of summer. So, uh, getting into August 16th, you're you're still in the dog days, but they're on they're on the back hill slide of everything, so to speak. Striped bass. For the Albemarle Sound management area is 18 inches. Now they increased the bag limit for two a day. And however, the season is going to close on April 30th. Uh, the season, they never, they're not going to open up a season this year for the central and the southern management areas. Um, so after uh, April 30th, the only place you can catch striped bass. Uh, looks like it's going to be in the ocean. In the ocean management or Atlantic Ocean management area, you're still looking at a size limit, and it's a slot size of 28 to 35 inches, and that's one per person per day. So, uh, granted, you better get on it if you haven't done any striper fishing. This is going to be about it before they move up north, back up off to Virginia and Maryland, and up into the northern states. Uh, March is about the tail end of the striper fishing season. Uh, I was a I'm a little late on this, but Black Sea Bass Proclamation for north of Cape Hatteras. This year's season is from February 1st to February 28th. Sorry I'm a little late. I had a little delayed pause in there to kind of get that WTF moment. Um, so the season just closed. Keep him keep keep that in mind, uh, and that is north of Cape Hatteras. Nothing's really ch nothing's changed for black sea bass south of Cape Hatteras. It's still 13 inches, and I think it's like 10 fish a day, so per person. So, but keep in mind where you are and what port you hail out of, or uh, wh where you go off of. 
one of the biggest changes this year that was kind of surprised i think surprised everybody um was the proclamation on bluefish you used to keep like 10 a day 10 15 a day no size limit there's still no size limit on those but it's three per person per day for non-hired vessel and five per person per day for hired vessels so um i had some buddies give their opinion on it they didn't like hearing that but i'm like dude you don't even keep them you give them to me whenever we go so um i think it's fine three per day i mean i six bluefish about all i want to keep and that's about all you know eat them and then i'm can go go a little while before i catch a few more and they're they're kind of a lot of times your secondary fish when you're uh, catching span you want to catch spanish anyways and that's where typically you want to ca catch them so i will say the chopper blues may be a different story for some people but it seems like i always miss those i hadn't life <laughs> what can i tell you um and that pretty much does it for your fin fish i'm going to jump into uh, sharks as I talked about a minute ago or on the other video that uh, there's been a deep predation of sharks and um, I think one of the proponents with the proclamation changes for sharks is they want to try to uh, encourage maybe some fishing those some targeting on those uh, however that's with uh, with limitations obviously um, sharks authorized for harvest and I'm gonna list them all down for you, or list them out for you, uh, is the black tip, bull, great hammerhead, scallop hammerhead, smooth hammerhead, lemon, nurse, spinner, tiger, Atlantic sharp nose, black nose, bonnet head, fine tooth, blue, white tip, poor beagle, short fin mako, thresher, smooth dogfish, and spiny dogfish. Um, some you need to take a look at the list but i know that the hammerheads are unlawful to possess with bluefish and tuna so if you're fishing for those or targeting those you cannot possess a hammerhead uh, the size limit on those the atlantic sharp nose is uh, there's no size limit but it's one per person the hammerheads or excuse me the bonnet head there's no size limit either but it's one per person the hammerheads have to be 78 inches long and it's one per vessel. The short fin mako is 71 inches for a male and 83 inches for a female and that's one per vessel also. And your non-hammerhead, non non-mako shark species have to be 54 inches and that's one per vessel as well. And then it's unlawful to possess silky or sandbar sharks. And I uh, wanted to note out smooth dogfish and your spiny dogfish are exempt from harvest restrictions. So you can load up on those if you want. I may try. I'm, I'm obviously, I like, I wouldn't mind hooking. I don't, I like hooking up on them to give you a fight, but I don't know. We may try. See, I've heard some people say spiny dogfish are good and the smooth dogfish are good too, but I don't know where to start with cleaning them. Um, maybe we'll find out we'll do a video on it i'm going to post uh or excuse me i'm going to type in the uh http uh link for the nc proclamation page down in the uh description below you can take and copy and that copy and paste that into your address bar and you can take a look at if you got any questions on the uh, north carolina marine fisheries proclamations uh with that being said uh now with that being said uh, and talking about all that uh, stuff on the rules changes I wanted to let y'all know that I am taking any uh, basically anything you want or request anything you want to see you want to see Paul Offshore do uh, I got a lot of ideas coming up whether or not I can get the time to do them all that's one of the things I've noticed with doing a, a YouTube channel is having the time to uh, film and do the editing the post processing uh, I'm still working through uh, some issues on the post-processing, main thing being data storage, and uh, I'd like to get some hardware upgrades, but at this point in time, it's not in a financial plan, is, so to speak, but uh, with that, like I said, I'll take some requests, anything you want me to find out, post video of, I, I can more willing to try. Uh, with that, I hope uh, everybody got some things off these rule changes and i want everybody to be safe and you know be ready 
so to speak. Uh, knowledge is half the power uh, with that. Anyways, look forward to seeing you on the water, tight lines, and we'll catch you on next time. Thank you.